Okay, so this is super interesting to me. Uh, for people just tuning in, uh, this is one of my patrons over at Patreon. They asked me a question about find and the find command and deleting files and having a large number of files to delete. So they find that they have to, they find that, <laughs> pun intended. They find that it's easier to write the list of files out to a directory, or sorry, out to a file, and then edit that file to make a bunch of RM commands and then just run through one by one and RM them. Because otherwise, as they say right here, Xargs dies with too many arguments, hence the VI step. That's super interesting to me. I'm very surprised to hear that Xargs dies. You're doing a find command pipe into Xargs. What I would recommend here to debug this further is Xargs has a dash n argument. Um, I think it's present It's present on most versions of Xargs. I don't know if it's standard, but it should be there. Dash n, which is how many um, you want to batch up into a single invocation of whatever command you give it. So you could say Xargs dash n five rm and then you'll do five at a time you still won't get the progress bar like you mentioned but you could try doing something like that it should handle batching for you but you could try lowering it the other problem here is even if you have xargs dash n1 it could still fail if the argument is very big so if the name of the file is very very big file systems have different rules on how big files can be but this data you know arguments to programs are passed what do they pass like over the stack or whatever there's a limit to how many arguments you can pass when you do uh, an exec call so you could be bumping into that limit i would say first thing to do is try xargs dash n5 xargs dash n10 you know just some low numbers and see if you can get it to work if it doesn't work, other commenters have mentioned that find might have a dash delete flag there. I completely blanked on that because I'm just used to versions of find that don't have that. So I, my brain just doesn't even think about it being there. But I believe it has a dash delete flag. I think there's a bunch of gotchas with it. I think you want to put that at the end of your command because if you put it in the beginning of the command, you might delete files before you filter for them. So be really careful with that flag. Okay, do some tests, do some dry runs. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mess around with that too much. If you're still having issues... I think you're a member of um, the Discord, but I would say feel free to join the Discord. I'll put a link here for anyone who wants to check it out. Join the Discord, tag me there, and we can work on an actual solution. And in fact, for your situation, if it is like that specific, if you need to find files with a specific name, get a progress bar, delete them in order, we could write a C program to do that. Like some like scripts are great, don't get me wrong. I love bash scripting, but sometimes you need like a, a, a compiled language to make something just go faster. We don't have to fork an exec. We can just write, you know, a C program to recursively loop through directories, check for files that start with the letter C-A-C-H-E, cache, you know, start with that, and then call unlink on them in a loop and we can actually get like a progress bar. We could, we could have fun with it. So yeah, that's what I would say.